In the year 1949, there is a big fuss about a man called Bruno Gröning, who is known in the media as the miracle healer. Thousands of people go to see him in various German cities. There are continual reports about new, unbelievable healings. What I saw were the people in wheelchairs, and there were quite a number. I don't remember anymore how many who actually followed Gröning's command and got up out of the wheelchairs and pushed the wheelchairs themselves. That's what I saw. One of the people lying on a stretcher got up and said, I'm well, I'm well. I was wounded in 1943 on board a submarine. My left elbow joint was shattered. After the operation, they found that my arm couldn't be moved and remained bent. I was like that until 1949. That was how people knew me. I was often just called the one-armed man because it looked as though my left arm was artificial. Then I tried to straighten my arm, which had been like that for years, and it became straight. And then I could only yell, I can move it, I can move it. The war put its stamp on us. The war destroyed us. That was the whole thing. Emotionally destroyed. During the war, we weren't normal human beings. We were hyenas. As a normal human being, you can't shoot anyone. But we had to. Either you or me. That's not normal. And our life was hanging on a thread. You grasp at straws. Something you can hold on to. It can be over at any moment. It's awful when you experience something like that. It's no wonder that we got sick, that we were emotionally destroyed. I stood with one leg in the grave. That's how sick I was. I wanted help. I couldn't eat anything anymore. Nothing. Adolf Kort was suffering from stomach cancer and had been given up by the doctors. During a community hour, he meets Bruno Gröning. And then we drove over there. I don't know anymore how that came about. Somehow we were with several people. Then we drove there and then there was salvation. It was salvation for us, for all of us there. The hall was full. That was salvation. For everyone. So you felt newborn. That's how light you felt. The heaviness went out of the body. And at that moment, and also thereafter, as we drove away, we weren't sick anymore. We didn't perceive anything, any, any more of the sickness. It was gone. And as soon as I got back, I could eat again. And it didn't come back again. So I'm fat. That's simple. But that was the transmission of Gröning's powers, which he radiated. And the body was charged up, and then the body could run freely again, a free current, you could say. Then everything can function normally again. Gröning always emphasizes that God is the greatest physician and that there is no such thing as incurable. What counts for him are the commandment of charity and the realization that he should not listen to man, but only to God. Bruno Gröning described himself as follows. I only want to be a guide for humankind in that I show them the right path, the path to God. I want to bring humankind back to faith. I never ask a person his religion or nation. Human being is human being. There is no difference. And don't ever say that I healed you. Never. I'm only a little go-between. Nothing more. A little transformer. People who have received healing should thank God for it. I'm nothing. God is everything. Bruno Gröning died in Paris in 1959. Twenty years later, his long-standing assistant, an Austrian teacher, Greta Häusler, founded the Bruno Gröning Circle of Friends. Today, the Circle of Friends is one of the largest and active worldwide organizations for healing on the spiritual path. Mrs. Grete Hosler is 
international awardee for excellence in runogroning teaching and world peace she is awarded for her outstanding contribution and dedication to science on every continent many people are involved with the teaching of bruno groening and many impressive healings have occurred ich ging dann zu dieser einführung i went to an introduction with my neighbor i limped on the way in and walked out freely und laufend raus when my neighbor saw this she said Mrs. Fisher, you're walking normally. I said, I don't have any pain anymore. A few days ago, I was x-rayed, and the doctor viewed the x-rays and compared them with the previous ones, and could not believe what he saw. He looked at them again and said, my friend, you are healed. This is unbelievable. There are communities of the Bruno Groening Circle of Friends in over a hundred countries. The friends gather together for what is called the community hour and together they absorb the healing power and talk about their experiences with the teaching of Bruno Groening. Within the framework of a medical scientific group, physicians and other healthcare professionals concern themselves with the phenomenon of the healings through the teaching of Bruno Groening and verify the given success reports. The physicians are also impressed with the occurrences. Bruno Groening was teaching very healthy things. We, we saw that because people sitting listening to his lecture would experience healing just by the experience of hearing what he said and the impact that would have on their own beliefs. And these are very, very powerful concepts. And uh, it's important to uh, appreciate them. So we feel so strongly about this world, um, the spread of Bruno Groening's spiritual healing and the circle of friends around the world because a lot of us feel that it's a profound energy. I always feel it, as, at the very least, as a tingling in my hands and often in my feet and sometimes in my face. And also there's an extreme sense of peace so that sometimes I don't want to stop. And I think if you had enough of these people, enough people doing it, what would happen? The peaceful people would promote peace and there'd be peace. You know, this is a German-based group. We have, we have groups in Jerusalem. Healing, that's what it's about. To me, this Einstellen, this Heilstrom, supersedes all religious boundaries. It is bringing peace to the planet. And so this is how he tried, even in those worldly environment, to help the people wherever he could. Bruno Groening always said that he came for all mankind, that he was here for everyone. And in the Bruno Groening circle of friends, we have, we have no language barriers. Uh, borders don't exist between countries. Uh, we understand that everyone is equal that people have the same desires in life, that all people, all men and women everywhere, all want for their lives, they want peace, inner peace, and peace in the world, understanding. And they want to be loved and to express love in the world. And this is the essence of the message of Buddha Groning. <laughs> 